the best cooking show ever. And today we're going to show you how to smoke salmon correctly. Well, a better way of smoking salmon correctly. Uh, you would have noticed, uh, well, what's now a few months ago on a reasonably entertaining uh, cooking program called The Hot Plate. You would have seen the episode where the two gentlemen had a very, they were at a very nice restaurant in a water setting somewhere in Australia and uh, one of the one of the main meals that they wanted to make at the end was uh, smoked salmon. And um, they kind of messed it up and they put too much heat on it before they even started smoking it and it burned and set up, set off the smoke detector and etc. Um, so uh, in this episode we're going to show you how to um, smoke your salmon a bit more correctly than that. Uh, my producer Gavin's back with you. Um, Gavin's pressing the uh, buttons over there as he usually does and um, oh Gavin too I was didn't have time to ask you how did we go with um, putting that tutorial on the um, to show people how the show um, meal or no meal uh, worked actually I've, I've just got to do it so the show's um, not on at the moment, so I'm actually missing it. I'm sort of, sort of, uh, I got a bit of, uh, bit of withdrawal symptoms for meal or no meal. And of course, the catch phrase is, of course, it's my favourite. No meal. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Anyway, how did we go with? Um, get a lot of people um, looking that up on the um, on the website, Gavin. Uh, no, no. Um, well, I, but I just came past and uh, I, I saw something you had up on the screen there and your stats that you always seem to be working with that, uh, that we had hundreds of thousands of hits on a, on a uh, recent item that was placed on the website. Yeah, yeah well look, I, I haven't had time to check out the website again. I've just been too busy with um, all my busy promotions, etc. Anyway. So you replace the tutorial showing people how the show meal or no meal actually works with a video of a cat playing a piano. Um, Gavin, I, well that, that's good that we've got hundreds of thousands of hits with a video of a cat playing a piano, but what has it got to do with cooking? This is a cooking show after all. Huh? Okay, so the tune that the cat was playing on the piano was in fact the song that goes, hey, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? Yeah, I remember that song, yeah. Hey, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Oh uh, yeah, it was a um, Hank Williams song. I think he recorded it in 19. 57 and it's a it's it's a good little you know it's a great song really um so um i wonder um what other songs that that cat has in its um back catalog it's a very clever cat um anyway okay well we'll just we'll just let that go just sort of um put a note on the website that the the video was filmed in the back of a restaurant or something like that but, uh gallon and um that should be it. Yeah, that's a, a very, very clever cat that can play a, a Hank Williams 1957 hit song on the uh, piano. Very clever. Um, we better get back to cooking. Oh, to look, just to remind everybody um, to that. Um, look, I think with any cooking show, I mean, any cooking show, that parental guidance is recommended. And um, I mean, you're working with hot things, uh, hot water, hot plates, uh, sharp instruments, uh, parental guidance should be uh, recommended and I, look, I, I would strongly, there's a couple of things that we're probably going to do in um, this particular show where I'd strongly recommend parental guidance. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, I mean, if, if you're sitting down with your youngsters and you're watching, you know, WWF wrestling or something, you know, you probably say, well, you know, don't throw your brother, you know, sort of don't pick him up in a strangle hold and throw him across the room, you know, like, uh, you know, one of those professionals does it. Say they're only doing it because they're professionals, and you could do the same cooking show. You explain to your youngsters, look, that. Um, that uh, Collie's a highly accredited and very experienced celebrity cook and that's why he's able to do those things. Uh, other than that of course you know, I suppose you could send them off to their room and play video games and then you know, they'd probably watch some play some video games uh, with depictions of uh, high level um, mass violence situations. Anyway that's it um, and as I say, by request, we're back in a very ordinary kitchen, as you can see. And how ordinary is this? That there's, you've actually still got um, washing, well, wiping up to do. Um, well, it's just air drying as it is there. Uh, very ordinary kitchen, as you can see. And um, so we're going to uh, do the, uh, today, we're going to do with the smoked salmon we're going to do. Um, and I've actually got them on um, in the oven here. I've got um, some uh, cheddar potatoes uh, which I'm baking in oil, uh, and I've also got the salmon which I'm applying heat to uh, in that oven in the L foil. I should turn these on. I'm going to um, uh, caramelise some onions. So we're going to have the smoked salmon on a bed of cheddar potatoes. Uh, uh, caramel, caramelised onions on the side and then I'll actually top it off on top with um, some uh, crispy um, uh, grilled broccolini. So that's that's what we'll be making. Oh, of course, um, those of you who uh, went out and have now bought and started to use our uh, aromatic uh, sensory experience cards, the, the, the one that gives you uh, the aromatic experience of when you're watching our cooking show and we're doing certain foods and cooking in certain ways you can scratch and sniff the uh, uh, card that makes closest resembles that smell and experience that uh, smell at home. So I've got those, um, if I just open that door, I've got those uh, cheddar onions uh, in there baking away uh, and I go to cards Roma, yeah, go to card C and go to uh, C8. Scratch that off. Yeah, that's very much it. Um, anyway, uh, when the uh, when the carrot, the onions have um, done a bit more, we're just starting to do now. Then um, what I do too with that one, you could probably go to um, yeah C18 and scratch C18 for. Um, your scratch and sniff uh, sensory aromatic experience. Now, I've had some uh, emails in from people with regard to the scratch and sniff sets. And people have been emailing me in and saying, well, Collie, that's all right for people who have got a good sense of smell. Uh, there's people out there for, you know, through um, ex exposure to industrial chemicals, uh, there's pe people who have got sinus problems, who have got, got acute colds, something, who actually can't sniff the, um, the, the smells. So we've got something that's coming up that you would find very interesting, which uh, can be used in addition to the sensory aromatic experience kits and as an alternative to if you choose not to use these at all, which will another thing to enhance your overall experience of the celebrity cooking, which I'm doing here on the show. So, uh, yeah, I haven't. Uh, I've also had people who um, uh, have emailed in and said, "Well, look, Collie, uh, look, I'm bedridden at the moment. Look, I'm I'm sick. I can't sort of you know just be getting up and scratching and sniffing and, and you know and also you know look." When I'm just sort of in bed ridden, you know, of sickness, I really just want something, you know, to bring the, the, you know, the pleasurable experience of cooking, which you seem to be getting to me. So I think I've been working behind the scenes with um, various experts for quite a few months now on this, which will be in addition to 
scratch and sniff, this is going to be another first. Another first uh, for a cooking show. So, uh, so let's go into it. And um, what it is, it's, it's basically uh, brain stimulation. And as I say, I've been working with uh, neuroscience and medical electronic experts for a number of months now to come up with this. And what it usually utilizes, of course, is uh, TDCS. And if you watch the uh, Catalyst program on the 6th of October, and they examined um, T TCDS, uh, which is transcranial tr trans uh, uh, direct current stimulation. In other words, a low level current is, is, is run through the front of the lobe and that stimulates certain brain activity. Now what we've done, as so working with experts, is to get the activity to, um, did you want to go up? I've just got to let the dog out, just so you want it. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, Neil. Anyway, what we've done, uh, working with experts, is we, we, we've come up with a, t a TDCS machine, uh, which basically, in effect, the, the, the currents are des designed, the, it has variations of current amplitude and frequency and pul pulse modes to effectively mimic the pleasure that I'm feeling uh, when I'm uh, out here doing the celebrity cooking. So for example, I mean one of the most pleasurable things that you do when you're a celebrity cook is to actually um, sort of take, say, roasted vegetables out of the oven. So we've got one of the dials here and it says, yes, um, taking roasted vegetables out of the oven. Uh, we've got another one here for, uh, for uh, grilling grilling uh, chicken. Uh, we've got one here for uh, cutting up uh, cutting up vegetables on the cutting board. We've got a, a well we've got we've got one which is specifically for us uh, uh, smoking salmon uh, which is one. Uh, here's another one for uh, tossing hey, what what that uh, toss tossing of salads and yeah I think that should be there. I think it would have been better to have that in there as uh, salad tossings rather than tossing of salads, but anyway, it's there. Uh, and, and then there's a there's a few up there's a few others, and you can go through. Now, these machines, uh, no Gavin, no, they're not available at uh, good good bookshops, no, or, 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 bad, or bad bookshops, no. You go onto our website, and um, it'll give you all the details of where to get these uh, machines, and um, also there's um, a guide there on how to use them use only in accordance with recommendations and we do have a recommendation on there of course that people actually have a consultation with their GP prior to using it. There's not any demonstrated risk with, um, there's no, no known risk with uh, T, TDCS but um, that there's, all, there's, all, there's always, you know, you, you might have a certain condition which you, you weren't aware that um, uh, that, that could, have, could be affected by by this so so safety first so we're going to um, how this one this is a, this this machine it just basically works by uh, I've got the um, conductor gel here and I, I place a bit of that in my hair and I pass the, the two electrodes on the hair above the front lobe of my brain and then and say, say, were well, you at home if you're watching the cooking show and say I'm smoking salmon? Uh, well, you won't be able to do it today, of course, because you haven't got machines yet. We're just sort of, just sort of running this out to you now. But um, say, say next time when I'm chopping up uh, on the cutting board, you can switch to that one. You'll get the pleasurable feeling for the brain. There's even one here. There's even a, uh, uh, one of the settings here, uh, which is just for, uh, you know, e expressive um, hand uh, gestures. Uh, uh, when I'm, you know, explaining things and I'm, you know, I'm using these flourishing hand gestures and, you know, all that sort of stuff, you know, uh, there's one there to experience the, the pleasure from that. Now, what I'm going to do, and I haven't tried this yet now, 
obviously I'm getting the pleasure myself. We're just going to try with me hooked up to one of the things and try with me sort of doing some of the food prep, say, well, we'll try it, with, try it when I'm uh, smoking the salmon, which is being heated up in the oven here now. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I would imagine that I'll probably just get enhanced pleasure, you know, like something you know, like double the, the, the pleasure that I uh, get where I did not have the, the machine hooked up. Um, as I say, there's lots of uh, uh, TCDS machines already on, on, the, on, on the market, on the internet there, but this, this you can only get them, have to go onto our website and get the one that's specifically designed uh, to work with the um, best cooking show ever. So, um, anyway, those, yeah, mm, those onions are um, coming along now. Um, so look, I'd uh, scratch on your scratch and sniff cards, I'd see, see number 18, that was pretty close to it. Um, might just sort of see if this salmon is, um, see if this salmon's get, got enough heat on it to um, be able to uh, smoke it. And of course, so it's one of the things that you learn, of course, as a um, celebrity chef, when you open the oven, always step away initially. Um, because you you just never know. I mean, you, you see some of our things here. You know, we've got uh, got a fire blanket and kitchen fire um, extinguisher. Uh, what I'd usually have those is just a little away from the actual uh, heating area. Uh, so if there was a fire in the heating area. You could go and you'd be outside here and you'd go and grab it, and extinguish it. Uh, I've just put them there for um, purpose to show you that we've got them and. Um, yeah, well, I might take them away. And you notice too, I've, oh, where I'm going to smoke the um, salmon over here, well, I've, 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 I've removed most of the um, combustible stuff, you know, such as the, the oils and, uh, uh, and, and, and so forth. Okay, okay so we're just gonna, I'm just going to have a look at this salmon and uh, Salmon, I uh, see most of your seafood is on uh, card uh, D. Um, I'm going to look at this stage since D, and I go for salmon, I go to card B too. Just, you know, he just uh, heated it, salmon heating up. Okay. Right, okay, we just need a little bit more heat on that salmon before it's ready to smoke. Uh, so what I might just take the opportunity to... Um, yeah, I'll just quickly turn these two potatoes over. Take the and brown on that side and we'll get them on the other side. And, um, I'm probably going to make up a, a sauce, and uh, but I'll wait till I've uh, got the, sa the salmon ready because I like to um, I like to just sort of get the, the salmon well smoked uh, before I actually decide um, to to make up the sauce to go with it and the vegetables. Um, it's just one of the um, things that you know when you're a very experienced celebrity cook. That you get used to um, it's just just that um, just that little touch of touch of flair that sets you apart from the others, uh, where you're able to actually add add lib on your dishes as, as you work through them. And it's, you know, not everybody can do it, but um, it, it's something that um, I've sort of um, become very very accustomed to doing. So uh, it's just. Um, See if that's them. Well, get our machine ready. What I might do is I'll put the um, put the conductive gel where I'm going to put the electrodes to uh, run the stimulated current through my brain. As I say, I haven't done this before, so what we what we expect, of course, is that I'll just basically. <laughs> I'll just basically have a like uh, enhanced um, 
uh, pleasurable experience of cooking, you know, so uh, the, the, the pleasure I, I get from, say, usually smoking salmon, I'll probably expect to get, you know, maybe double that pleasure. I'll just pop that over there in the bin. And I think, mm, oh, I think by that smell, I think by that smell, yeah, that I am sheep ready. I'm going to just turn it on. Oh, oh, I'm going to just turn, turn it on. Uh, well, actually, no, we'll turn it off for now because it's not quite ready. Now, we'll get our. We'll get our salmon out because it's just a matter of applying enough heat, pre smoking, and um, not too much heat. So that's just about ready now. Uh, we'll plate. All right. You only want a small knife for doing this. I'll just uh, we'll see how those angles are still going well there. Okay. Just say, only want a small knife and just a couple of bits. I've got a plate over here. Yeah, yeah, and that's just that's just the right amount of heat. Um, that's sort of hot in my hand, but not hot enough for me to um, you know drop it and you know run for the um, cold water. It's so hot in my hand. Right, just. Just see how this first bit goes. So get it ready. Okay, let's roll that. Got the gel in my hair. Let's put the electrodes in. Just find that gel. Yep. There it is. There yep. we got it. Uh, we'll turn the um, TCDS machine, the custom made one for the best cooking show ever, TDCS machine. We'll turn it on at the wall. As I say, parental, parental guidance is highly recommended. Um, now, yeah, I've, as you see, got this salmon ready and um, look some people will use a filter in the end um, that's the Kensington method uh, I um, prefer not to use a filter which is the uh, Kilson method so I'll have a go mm. yeah that's mmm that's good salmon and um, yeah I can feel a bit of um, brain stimulation happening as well and mm, oh that that's um good really um good salmon gallon uh, I don't know, I'll just oh, oh, the brain activity is um kicking in uh oh, I'll just try and get a little bit more light Yes, that's a uh, good salmon already. Now, uh, a bit, there's a bit of a bit of an overload happening. It must be a sensory overload. Um, good salmon and um, I think that um, and say that the uh, TD 
CS machine really enhances the pleasurable experience. Um, Gavin, um, I might just have to um, see if I can just sort of go somewhere quiet for a while and contemplate the um, meaning of life and the meaning of cooking for a while. Um, yeah, um, we might finish this uh, dish on the next show. Um, I'll turn off the oven on the way out. Um, thanks a lot for watching all our viewers. Um, hope you like the uh, the new enhancements that we've uh, put in place for your viewing pleasure. Uh, uh, tune in same time, same channel next week for Solo One. Thank you.